pleasure. Who rules Antiva? Officially, the Principality of Antiva is governed by His Majesty King Fugelno II. In reality, Antiva's merchant princes rule the country in everything but name. Quite loudly, I might add. What sort of dealings did you have with these merchant families? As ambassador, I attended Privy Council meetings in a mediatory capacity. May I just say, one has never heard an argument until they've sat in on 15 princes howling down each other's tariff suggestions. That sounds more like a mob than a meeting. It's all a part of life in Antiva. Our traditions value passion and romance. A certain exuberance of style. Are you positive you're Antivan? I can be most exuberant when it's called for. Just at the right moments and in a proper fashion. Might we speak of something else? What's the land like in Antiva? The settled areas are quite lush. The vineyards run as far as the eye can see in some places. Antiva city, however, perches right up against the Rialto Bay. That's what I miss most. The sea crashing against the maze of the docks. I have difficulty seeing you wandering around a trading port. Everyone in Antiva city spends time by the ships, my lady. The finest restaurants and poets all make their habitation by the sea. The waterfronts never still. Lanterns are lit along the promenade, no matter what the weather. Are you ever homesick? Occasionally. When a breeze stirs the trees in the garden, I sometimes pretend it's the sound of the surf. <sighs> Do you know, I even miss those terrible squawking birds infesting the harbor. My youngest sister used to throw whole loaves of bread to the gulls. Silly thing. Let's speak later. Farewell. Mind your step for things, Inquisitor. Where does a dwarf go to study magical theory? Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzmar. I had to start at a circle. I had help, though. A great warden, and I am forever grateful. With that sanction, I visited a half dozen circles. The wonders I've seen. And with an objective eye, I can spot where they overlap. That's a surprise for every teacher. It's a grand tradition. And it works so well with new thinking. You mentioned a Grey Warden who helped you start your studies. Not any Grey Warden. THE Grey Warden. The Hero of Ferelden is a hero in Orzammar, too. It's incredible that someone like the Hero of Ferelden would stop to help the little people. Literally. <laughs> you gave up so much, left your home. Was it really that amazing? Yes. I left my home and my family, but I knew... I just knew I could be more than a smith. I wish my people weren't stuck in the past, and I regret that my father couldn't imagine another life for me. But I don't regret what I did. Your years of study have paid off. Oh yes, the mages said I brought a valuable perspective. I've even presented my work to the College of Enchanters. I wanted an exchange. The surface could learn about lyrium smithing, and Orzammar would gain knowledge of magic. But now there's no college. And so far as the Shaper is concerned, I'm castless. So you're getting my best work, Inquisitor. Let's make some great stuff. The Warden affected you in a special way. Talk to anyone, they'll say the same. It was a dark time. There was one light. She saved us. She saved me. All right, rein it in. You have work to do. Right, sorry. I get carried away when I think of it. Ready when you need me. Thank you. 
This tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. That's a lot of not very exciting reading, apparently. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the Rite of Tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. So the rebellion could have been prevented? Perhaps, but it was a long time coming, for many reasons. We created the Rite of Tranquility. I told you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? I can't foresee the future, Cassandra. But we know the past. Those who do not heed history are doomed to repeat it. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. Rebuild the Seekers. Make them better than they were. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. Training here. Was... Is there anything you need? If they're smart. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. Do you have any advice for me? 
Tell that demon, what does it call itself? Cole. Tell it to leave. He may not mean harm, but that does not mean he will not harm us. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Be cautious with him, Inquisitor. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Hello again. That's... You took quickly to the training. We'll keep it up. Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsol and Vichel? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them. But maybe not. So watch out for that. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? Gets you paid, for one. You seem happy enough about that. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. It must have gone wrong before. How many times have you almost died? What fight were you in? We didn't almost die. Besides, I only have to start these punch-ups. You would have killed Harmond if I'd let you. Sure, sometimes I plonk one. But you know what it takes to be a noble? Everyone says, he's a noble. That's all a title is. So I slap someone, make them look stupid for just a second. All of a sudden, he doesn't look so noble or scary. Maybe the servants rebel, whatever. But know what really gets them? Other nobles. They blame the slappy for being slapped. They're shits like that. So it's backwards inspiration. Sort of. Still works like yours does. So, you think that what you do is just as inspiring as what I do? I said it works the same. Because if you're boot on your neck poor, nobles and choreists don't look much different. They sure as piss look closer to each other than they do to real people. So, yes, I inspire. Little pockets of inspire. Asian. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. We'll talk another time. It's all good, isn't it? Why change the past when you can on this day? Today she will fight to keep her away. She's a rogue and a thief and she'll tempt your fate. She would always like to say, Why change the past when you can on this day? Faith seeks a friend in compassion. Cautious, careful, too much grey but growing. So, Cole. Someone found... They were safer there. Uh, all right. The soldiers make me nervous. Sitting around here, tempers get short, and fighting. I saw one soldier reach for his belt like he was going to draw a dagger on the man he was arguing with. It was lucky he'd lost his dagger, or there'd have been more than a bloody nose. Uncertain falls for home and poor when met the mob. 
An old name burns inside armor that shouldn't fit. Lit by faces of children he couldn't save. So, Cole. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. They were safer there. Safer than on someone's belt where they could draw them in the heat of an argument? They would have been sad later. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Liliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Farewell, revered mother. Until next time. You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Pleased to serve. Right. At your service. 